no look. I really hate when certain women be like, oh, well, I'm kind of hard to handle. Like, you know, like, I need a man that can handle me. No, you're a burden. <laughs> So if you're making fifty thousand dollars, don't date. What? I'm I'm just being for real. You're not ready to date. Again, I'm with you. When you're not right. ready to date. You're not ready to date because courtship costs. Okay. Everything costs. Okay. You can go for twenty two walks in the park. Eventually, Shorty is gonna need a sip of something. She gonna be thirsty. <laughs> this <laughs> bottle of water is three dollars in Atlanta. Let's not play. So if you don't have any expendable cash, don't date. And whatever that looks like for you, you might only make 50,000, but you live in a shoe. And now you got expendable cash. Or get you a bottom of the barrel bitch that's gonna date you when you have no money. If she doesn't have that expectation, and I'm gonna tell you this right now, enjoy it while it lasts, because eventually you're gonna wanna run. Because she doesn't stretch you, she doesn't make you the man that you need to become. She allows you to be the stagnant dude in the same jeans for days. You know what I'm saying? Let me cut, no, I'm you just talk about saying. me. They call her the cat lady. <laughs> Guys, you know it's become really sad. And you can pick up on it right away if you just listen. Don't get triggered. Don't get upset. Just listen. Just listen to women speak a lot of times about what they look for in men, how to spot a good man, or, you know, what lets them know if a man is going to get their time and attention. A lot of them are clueless. Don't have an idea. No, no clue of what a good quality man looks like. That's why they lean so hard on the financial part of it. Man got to make 50K or he shouldn't be dating. That's why they lean on it. Because any woman who actually thinks logically and understands a little bit about men, a little bit about life even, would say, well, that man's financial situation, well, that, that might be just temporary. Who is he? What does this man drive and ambition look like? What is his goal? What is his plan? What are those things, what are those parts of his life looking like? That's what I'm gonna invest in. That's what women should be saying. But no, what they will do is say, if he's only making 50K, then that probably means he's broke, so he shouldn't be dating. And if he is gonna date, only date bottom of the barrel women. As if that's not a shot at the women who understand how to find a man based on more than his finances. But since these women don't understand that, they'll even though those who do understand that under the bus just to make their point. Because here's the thing, isn't it typically better if you wanna get on something that you figure is gonna be a good thing? It's better to get in on it early. How they say you wanna get in on the ground floor before everybody know about it. You wanna make your investment into that property, into that stock, into that great idea. You wanna get in on that early as you can because while there is a risk, the reward can be so fruitful, it's worth it. But here's the thing, you gotta know what to look for in order to understand what you should invest in versus what you should just pass on. And there's just so many women who don't get that. They don't have a clue on what to look for. So if I was to give you an offer of getting the Samsung S24, which is a brand new Android phone, or getting an iPhone 10, which came out years ago, which one would you take? The I iPhone take the 10. iPhone. Just the I iPhone 10. Because I, like, I know how to use the interface more. Ciao. Okay. Get the French toast out of here. What does 69 plus 69 equal? Hundred, hundred. <laughs> I'm so bad at maths. I was actually trying to do that. It's 138. All right, it was a joke, Abby. You didn't have to actually do the calculation. He was struggling. I was trying to help. Well, um... I can do basic math. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have you know. I'm smart. I can add two what? double digit numbers together. What defines being a nice guy versus being a good man? Oh. Can't stand nice guys. What? Can't. What's the difference? They, they're people pleasers to me. When I hear nice guy, and remember, you have to remember how I associate to the word nice. Nice means you want to make other people happy. Nice means you are walked over easily. Oh, I feel like nice guys finish last because they're always putting everyone else before them. Her. Whereas a good man. He stands 10 toes down. He stands 10 toes down. Yeah. I respect a good man. I don't necessarily respect a nice guy. They gonna come for me on that one. It's gonna be a lot of hurt people in the comments. Wow. Okay. You, know, you know what's funny? I've had females look down upon me for saying certain things, and I'm not trying to up big myself up, but this mm -hmm. is genuinely how I feel. If we're going on a date and you take me to a nice restaurant, 
I'm not going to order the lobster and steak. <laughs> right. I'm, I'm just not going to do yeah, that. I just yeah. think it's inconsiderate. Yeah. yeah. And then if you take me to a nice restaurant, I personally always offer, because I know you're going to pay mm -hmm. if you're the cut, you don't understand, yeah. but I'm, I'm going to always offer, hey, can I leave the tip? Yeah, I always ask something that. Something about that is so special to me. Yeah, and, and that's the kind of woman that I want to marry. And it's like just even if I don't want you to do it, even just offering it is just it makes a man feel appreciated. Yeah. The thing that many modern women have forgotten because social media has convinced them that well they got all these options, all these men then slid up in their DMs. You show a man just a little bit of appreciation. You just let a man know that you actually care about him just a bit even though you're just getting to know him, just the fact that you're showing appreciation for what he's doing for you by taking you out and treating you to a meal, something that, oh, you say you could do yourself, just by showing any type of appreciation, that'll go a long way. Because as a man, now we look at that woman and we say, man, she's different. She's not just trying to actually just use me for my money, try to get a free meal. Looking at me like I'm just some guy who wants to take her out and needs to impress her. She's showing a vested interest like I'm showing a vested interest. And when men see that, what women don't realize is that for men who are serious and want to find a woman who they can grow and build and start a family with, he's going to look at that woman differently because she's showing him different. If I look at a girl's Instagram, I look at two things. Can I show my mom this girl's Instagram? without scrolling, without having to hide stuff. Can I show her that Instagram? And then two, would I want my daughter to be like this girl? And if I, if I, if it's a no to either one of those, I'm cool. I am fascinated by how different men and women are. Like when a girl's having a terrible day, there's a lot she has to do. She has to vent to someone for an hour. She has to cry about it. She has to exercise. She has to eat something that's comforting, but won't bloat her. Men have to watch one motivational sports related TikTok. And they're like, yeah, let's get the back out there. My guy tries to always give me what he he would need. Like, I'll be crying on the couch, like, I'm not gonna lie, it's cliche, but on my period, I think the dog is mad at me. And then he just starts pulling motivational Kobe Bryant quotes at me. I'm like, I'm sitting there with a heating pad, and he's like, the second you give in is the second someone else wins. What about the women who um, have been very promiscuous, mm. you know, been a so they've enjoyed themselves? Very much so but now they're reaching to an age where they realize that they want to find a husband and kids. They're mm. turning to God yeah. and, you know, they're keeping themselves at home. Mm. Are, them, are, th are those women still a hoe? No, no, they're just a holy jersey. <laughs> <laughs> There's no fucking way in hell I'm going on it. I'm not entertaining the conversation if the next thing out your mouth after I say, yo, you trying to hang out Friday, 7 p.m. Oh, you trying to pay for this babysitter? Nah, I'm gonna pay for the date. Crazy. You can find your babysitter. No, you I'm can't, done. If you can't make it, then I'm done. I'll be taking somebody else up. The oh, okay. Said... Um, how about you just don't date single mothers if you are a single guy with no kids? Listen, if you're a man and you got kids and you want to do the whole Brady Bunch thing, that's a completely different dynamic. Not even gonna act like it's not. It is different type of understanding when you're both bringing kids into the scenario. You understand that as far as being a parent and what that looks like trying to date while you're a parent. If you're a single man, you're ambitious, you got a good career going for yourself, you got some lofty goals, you're trying to actually make some moves in your life. Why are you even considering dating a woman who has kids? When you compare what men are willing to accept from women versus what women will accept from men, it doesn't even compare. You can solve a lot of problems real quick by upping your standards and then holding the women who are interested in you holding them to that standard. Because then you always know you're gonna get what you want from women. And if, because if she's not meeting it, she gets cut and you move on. Anyway, guys, as always, questions, comments, thought, and feedback, drop them down below. I appreciate it when you guys do chime in. Don't forget, you can hit the like and subscribe button for more content. And as always, until next time.